is my lady. It is my love. All oh, that she knew she were. She speaks. Yet she says nothing. What of that? Her eye discourses. I will answer it. I am too bold. It is not to me she speaks. Two of the fairest stars in all the heavens, having some business, to entreat her eyes to twinkle in their spheres till they return. What if her eyes were there, and they in her head? The brightness of her cheek would shame those stars, as daylight doth a lamp. Her eyes in heaven would through the airy regions stream so bright that birds would sing and think it were not night. See how she leans her cheek upon her hand? Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand. I might touch that cheek. I mean... She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo. Romeo. Wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or, if thou wilt not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more? Or shall I speak at this? It is but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself. No, oh, not a Montague. What's Montague? It is nor a hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to a man. God, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo would. Were he not Romeo called? Retain that dear perfection which he owes without that title. Romeo, doff thy name. And for that name, which is no part of thee, take up.